What's up guys? Welcome back to Ben Goose Gaming. This is the last video in our FTL playthrough with the Mantis A ship heading into Sector 7. I'm TF Goose. We got uh, Vendetta here rocking with the dual commentary. Say hey Vendetta. Hello Poppet. Ass right. <laughs> and uh, let's see, we're heading into the Zoltan Homeworlds here. We got one more sector to go before we're at the last stand and where all the crazy happens. Unfortunately, last episode we lost one of our crew members due to horrible stupidity on my part. So, no. <laughs> yeah, big time. But now we're just going to run forward with the last seven that we have and hope that we can hang on to everybody and make a run at, the, at beating the game here. So, You already got some nice shots off on this Rebel uh, Rigger. Yeah, there's, it's still nice right now. Our, our weapons aren't terrible. I'd like it a lot better if I had a couple of, or at least one, three-shot weapon instead of just rocking two two-shot weapons. Mm -hmm. But... You know, you, you can only deal with what you get. We haven't really found, you know, someone selling a weapon that's going to be great. We haven't seen anything just floating around in space or offered to us. So the game is very random that way, and sometimes you just have to work with what you get, you know? And this particular ship only has three weapon slots as well, which is kind of a, a crutch in some instances. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's definitely a, you know, a handicap, you would, you would say. And there's certainly many other ships that have four weapon systems, and by the time you get to the stage of the game, you're usually opening up with all four of them. And the weapon system itself can have three more power bubbles thrown into it, but even if we did, we got nothing to do with it right now. So, yeah, just press forward with our small bomb and double hull lasers and see if we can do some work. Of course, you know, the big deal is our boarders. That's who, who does the job for us, and unfortunately, that was one of the guys we lost. We lost Borat! No! Oh, Borat! <laughs> oh! Video is in memory of you, Borat. Exactly. It's dedicated to you. Dedicated to you, buddy. Sorry about that. I'm an I'm an idiot. So he's offering us uh, four missiles and 31 scrap here. Again, trying to collect missiles. I've used a couple of bombs, so I went ahead and took that offer. Really paranoid about you know running out of missiles on the final fight. Well, you know, you had a game last week. I believe you told me that you got all the way to the end and ran out of missiles and lost. Yeah, yeah, because I didn't have enough moxie on my ship to punch through four shield bubbles i think i had like one regular you know laser weapon that was like a burst laser three or a burst yeah. laser two rather that had three shots and i had a bomb and two missile systems and that was my loadout and so many misses during that fight the the evasion on the final ship is unbelievable and i missed so many times going into that fight with about probably as many missiles as i have now honestly and i ran out and yeah, and you can beat the game. Yeah, you can go through, uh, you know, missiles on the last stand like water. I mean, it's nothing to go through 30 missiles. Exactly, because you're fighting that ship three times, as, as you'll see here shortly. But here again, we have a Sultan Super Shield to chew through. I'm not really concerned with his drones here. He's only got one of them that's a laser. The other one is just a beam weapon that's never getting through. So all you have to do is just carve up the ship for a little bit here. Now that we have the shield down, it's time to send in our boarders and just chew up the Zoltan crew because they're awful, as we've said. Mantis morsels. The little green men. They're so delectable. Nom, nom, nom. That's right. <laughs> so let them do their work and move on here. Really looking to see if we can get another opportunity to get another crew member. There was twice in Sector 5, I think it was, we came across, you know, a quest thing. You know, one of the little nodes where you can actually pick up a crew member. And I passed on doing that because I had a full crew and I didn't want to risk losing another one. But now that I'm light one, I'd kind of rather do it. But you're running that risk, though. They could lose Ohm, and that would be awful. That would be terrible. That would be the worst possible outcome if I send I, them away. I think if you lost Ohm, you should just all F4. Yeah, basically. Yeah, where's the quit button? There it is. Yeah. <laughs> and where's the drinks? Seriously, I would need a shot after that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I would throw my keyboard against the wall. Yeah. It would be awful. So right now we'll just or press baby. on. And here is the uh, the slug quest right here that we started last last video. Oh, nice. And you find the slug ship. You just have to use your improved sensors, or if you have a slug on board, that'll work as well. You just have to have an extra point in your sensors to do this quest, and that's about it. And the goal here is to not let the ship get away. I actually did find this ship one other time and I didn't have enough muscle to punch through his shields and prevent him from jumping, which is annoying. So I'm throwing bombs at him and lasers and everything I can think of just to keep that pilot room down so that he can't jump. 
Because if he gets away, that's it. The quest is lost, so that'd be awful. And they're repairing like mad in there, and it's just awful. But this is the proper way to do it. You can also concentrate on the engines, I guess. But take out the pilot room, you can't evade, right? Exactly. And your shots are guaranteed to hit. Yeah, exactly. I mean, so once he once he has no evasion, every other shot hits the mark every time, so you can really wear down every other system. Since the pilot room is down now, I went ahead and switched over to the, the engines in case he repairs one, and the other one's still in poor enough shape that he's not going anywhere. He's rocking some pretty weak weapons, only uh, looks like a hull laser one there and a, and a galve beam. Yeah, exactly. I mean, th there's no real threat here. The only problem is he runs, and he's got a really, really good engine, and if you do not keep him down, he will get away. Oh, and nice. There it is. The escort destroyed, and you can uh, you can take it out right there, and we pick up the slug cruiser. Really happy. Gives us advanced FTL navigation, but honestly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's my analysis on that particular augment as well. Yeah. You know, there's something to be said for it. You know, in the final stand, if you need to hop around the zone a little bit more, it's just okay. I, I feel there are much better augmentations out there for players to get. Yeah. You know, conceivably, I could have tossed the scrap recovery arm there you know given that i'm almost fully upgraded on my ship and got everything i really need true but uh i just decided to keep it and try and go balls to the wall it, it's really a good idea to even if you don't have the power to do it to throw a couple of extra points in systems like o2 med bay you know sensors doors things like that uh yeah you know well those don't even take power but you want to get extra power in those systems so they can survive a hit or two and still function well, not only that, but a uh, pro tip as well for all you guys listening in. Um, one of the first things I would actually recommend unlocking is the Med Bay 2 because it opens up a lot of options, a lot of those blue dialogue options you see. And That's you can get point. crew and scrap much faster kind of early on. Something Goose uh, neglected to do here, but... It's still... That is a good tactic. You're absolutely right. And for the 30 scrap that it costs to do that at one point... You, you don't have to have the med bay powered either. You just have to buy it and have a level two med bay. Right, exactly. It just has to be there. It doesn't have to be functioning. Because yeah. actually, a, a strategy I use, um, since I don't board a lot, I keep my med bay actually unpowered and throw that one power, two power, what have you, into another system, whether it be engines, weapons, shields. Yeah, normally I would have the med bay disabled right now and have that extra point in the shields, and that's how I would be operating right now. But with a boarding ship, I just want that med bay running all the time, and I, I want to be used to the fighting conditions with the med bay up and running. That's kind of what I was working on there. So sure, no, for this play style, it makes total sense. And if you did notice there, I don't know if you missed it, but I went ahead and spent some of my scrap on a drone system, and looky what I got for free: system repair drone, Heck one of the yeah. best things in the game. That's great great little guy to have right there he just runs around the ship and repairs any system <clears throat> excuse me any system any fire any hull breach whatever you would normally have to send your guys into harm's way to deal with he runs over there and takes care of it without any trouble and he's immune to fire which is excellent yeah that's that's money in the bag right there yeah so he's a super rock man essentially <laughs> but he's useful he, yeah exactly he's actually useful even a super rock man would still be you know basically just a mountain <laughs> This guy will do work. There he goes right now. He's going to head down. Normally, I would be sending another crew member down there to try and deal with that fire and repair the shields quicker. But the med bot or the uh, repair bot there is as good as an Engi on repairs. Oh, and just got capped. Yeah, that's what happens. I left the guy in there for a little bit too long dealing with the fire. And right when I decided to pull him out and send him to the med bay, the enemy decided to target the room that he was running through. <laughs> and talk about bad luck. That that one I didn't feel as bad about. That's, you know, I don't put that on my record. Sorry. <laughs> that goes into the captain's log as just a tragedy, not a decision. That was, yeah, that was unfortunate. Yeah, so, but at least, again, it wasn't home. But I lost the guy that was doing my shields at that time, too. So now I need yet another shield, man. Yep, that if it would have been a Mantis, you know, uh, that would have been a little better because uh, you would have uh, still had a pilot. Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't matter at this stage. I really just have to try to, to keep all my systems manned. But with two boarders and needing four systems manned, now I have absolutely no extra crew. I'm going to end up sending that 
human to deal with one of the systems and actually going to give the Rockman something to do for once and take over the other system. He's been standing there the whole game, and now he actually has to move. So, Well, since you have your borders right there by your O2, I don't really think that's as big of a deal. Granted, they only repair at half speed. But there's two but, of them. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it's nice. Yeah, they can take care of the O2 if there is an issue. And now, of course, since I have the system repair drone just two doors up, yeah, true, I'm true. really not concerned with any of my systems going down, even something as critical as O2. So another super shield. Something interesting I noticed at the last store, you didn't buy any missiles, even though you had the scrap. True, yeah, I didn't, w I normally don't buy missiles, and honestly, really? I was feeling a little cocky about the number of missiles that I had, which was an error, <laughs> <laughs> as we'll see, but uh, yeah, you can never have enough missiles, and if you got the scrap, it's always a good idea when you're getting towards the end of the game, if you're using missiles, that is. That's true. To go ahead and pick like some up. Rock all lasers. Yeah, yeah, and that's actually a uh, an achievement to get to the, the final sector without using any sort of ballistic weapon. It's like ballistophobia, I think it's called. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, so if you want to do it that way, you can, but it's very, very hard to build a loadout of weapons without any missiles that's capable of tearing through the, sh the ship. There's another useless augment given in, given to me, FTL recharge booster. Who cares? You know, <laughs> at this time, yeah. it's just not something that's worth having. If it was a jammer, I'd have considered it, but I don't need to get away faster. I'm not looking to get away. I'm looking to tear was things Was the up. last boss immune to the jammer? Uh, well, he doesn't jump until he's been destroyed. Right. So, yeah, basically, that's just a scripted event, I'm pretty sure, once he... Yeah, I'm sure it is as well. Yeah. Yeah, the, the jammer is really useful early game. You're so late in the game, though. I wouldn't give up any of your augmentations to throw that on there. Yep. Now, right there, I had one of those uh, events where I could, you know, try to send somebody. Or I found one of those raving madmen on a planet. There's perfect. Again, six fuel for 12 scrap. But, you know, I said last video, you always should take that deal, and you really should. But now we're here at the end of the sector, and we're going into last stand. We're going to get handed 10 fuel dun, dun, just dun. for walking in. So... That's the one occasion, I suppose, where you don't need to do that. But anyway, I was, as I was saying, I, that little madman quest there, I had an opportunity to bring a dude back and maybe turn him into a crew member. But it's a really low chance to do. Now, if I'd had an advanced med bay, like you were saying, yes, I would have done it. But otherwise, most of the time, he just comes up to your crew and pounces on someone and slits their throat before you can down them. And that's not a good idea. I don't think I've actually ever came across that event. Yeah, it's interesting. He, if you bring him up, it either he either heals and joins your crew, or the game says he pounces on one of your crew members and dis and kills one of them before you even know what happened, and then it drops into an event where you have a border. Interesting. And you have to take him out, so you instantly lose one crew member, and of course it's random, so at this point I can't afford to lose anyone else, so I went ahead and left him. No, yeah, you. I think that was the wise move. Yeah. Now here's what I'm doing is I'm running around to the repair stations because every repair station you go to gives you fuel and missiles and drone parts. Unfortunately, it also repairs your ship, and I wasn't considering that maybe I would need that. <laughs> <laughs> so that also turns into a little bit of a hiccup here. I, I made this final fight probably the most stressful that I've had in FTL thus far because I made mistakes like not buying missiles when I had the opportunity going around to all the repair stations early, thinking I was making a, a smart move. I'm like, oh, I'll just go and collect all the missiles now. Go to school. Right, yeah, seriously. I, I need some help. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a newbie. That was a, you know, FTL 101 right there. Exactly, yeah. This is a great series to watch, guys, if you want to know what not to do. You know, <laughs> We pride ourselves in showing you guys what not to do. Yeah, we're gonna make, hopefully we won't make that a staple on this channel. Wait till the SimCity <laughs> content comes. We're going to teach you guys how to play that right exactly i was actually watching um the live feed today and they had some guys on there that were playing and it kind of amazes me that it's you know this close to launch and you still had guys in there that really didn't know what they were doing didn't know what they were talking about a shame yeah it is it is it's kind of tragic and makes you you weep a little for the future <laughs> of mankind in general I suppose. you know i'm not worried about it though because that'll give us plenty of opportunity to kind of make our own mark in the SimCity community exactly yeah so we're, we're really looking forward to that game guys and and happily enough vendetta here managed to score himself a, a beta key for the final four hours. three for three baby that is that's bananas seriously 
I know this is the full version too. If any of you guys got the chance to play, um, it's you know no more lock content. Can you feel the hate? Can you feel the hate coming through your screen right now? All the people that are watching this. Yeah. Seriously, it's got to be giving you goosebumps. It really does. It's I'm a little nervous. Yeah. No, it, but happy. It's gonna be but happy. Yeah. Somehow you'll work through the pain, right? Exactly. <laughs> I think I'll make it. Yeah. Somehow I think you will. But yeah, we're definitely happy about it though. We're gonna get a lot of good coverage for that. We're gonna record the entire session and put up some some solid stuff this weekend for you guys. So be on the lookout for that too. If you're into SimCity, and if you're not into SimCity, you know why? <laughs> yeah. Why say no when it feels so good to say yes? That is right. So. <laughs> You're getting kind of tore up here. You're down to 75% hull damage. Right, yeah. You Notice got that? Some fires going. Yeah, yeah. Right about here, I'm thinking about those repair stations that I just went around to a little bit ago and blew all my chances to repair for free. And of course, yep. finding a store in the final section is somewhat of an anomaly. It really doesn't happen that often. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out a great way to take out this ship. And, of course, they have the med bay, and that's always an issue. And I'm really trying to avoid using using bombs. Otherwise, I'd be bombing the med bay right now. Yeah. But it, I'm pretty sure it ends up being that I just sort of have to do it. You got Omen Cadrill there going away, but uh, looks like you're going to have to be him back. Yep. That's what happens when they've got a functioning med bay. They just run down there and... Heal up, up. Yep. they come right back to town on you and it, it stinks so but I had to stay in there I couldn't go for the shield room if I'd have all three have come in there on me again I'd have probably have lost one or both so yeah this ended up being a really really long fight for just being a standard ship and it's this ship right here that caused me all the trouble because I used so many resources on this and in retrospect I should have just pressed that nice glowing yellow button up there Yay, it lets, jump. It lets you just leave encounters like this behind, but you, you forget about that a lot of times when you're playing this game, that you have the option to back out. Yeah, no, totally you do. You're like, you know, you'll be sitting there, and it's almost like a pride thing. You're like, no, I'm not going to jump away. You jump away. Exactly. Like, do what you want. Yeah, like, no, I'm going to sit here, and here, of course, I'm trying to use bombs and putting up misses, which is like the worst possible thing costing you a missile every time yeah that hurts yeah notice i'm down to 23 already you know i've yep. been trying to tear down this ship for like five minutes now <laughs> yeah I if i were you i would have jumped yeah it, it's definitely time to go and for some reason i just you know my coming at this fight with my hair on fire convinced that i'm not leaving until it's dead i think you're a, a masochist a closet masochist it might be now notice where i'm at on hull oh yeah, wow just tipped into 50 percent hull you got fires, which will be no problem for your system repair drone. Yeah, he'll take care of that. I'm not really worried about it. He will step in there and... Good thing you upgraded your oxygen. That was a smart move. Yeah, just in case you know, if it takes takes damage or if I, I can always pump another point into it to refill the ship if I need to. Yeah. Which is good. Have to keep dodging these missiles with the stealth. There's a couple of times during this fight when I just... I could have hit stealth and dodged a missile, but my attention was elsewhere. This just teaches you a lot of lessons about how you really need to pay attention to what's going on the screen. There they tried to, you know, offer me something, I think. Yeah, because I was You trying, said no. And I said, absolutely not. There's no way. You know, at one point, I, I, if it was that ship right there, when I fight forever and then you make an offer, no, you're dead. You're dead. You're going to die. I'm not <laughs> taking it. I'm not taking it. You tick me off and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill you. That's the way it's going to be. That seems fair. Yeah, but finally those guys went ahead and took out the, the crew, and we end this horrible fight, and I'm starting to take stock of the situation and exactly how many resources I used. I'm looking around right now trying to see if there's any way I can get to that repair station over there and get back to fight the mothership before it manages to get up there to the base, and it just seems massively unlikely that I'm going to be able to do that. It only looks like three jumps away. I think you could have done that. Right, but then if the uh, then I have to jump back to where he is, and if he keeps jumping, he can get there really fast. He's only three jumps away from the base at this point, so that's true. And if he gets to the base, that's it. It's game over. You lose instantly. Yeah. So I decided that the best recourse was to just move on and see what we can do about taking things out. If I'm not mistaken, I think I did just jump away from this ship. And <laughs> just wait for your drive to charge up. Yeah. Because there's no point in 
blowing any weapons or anything on here. I don't really want to bother with it. I don't want to take any more damage. And he's got a he's got a bomb there and everything, which he thankfully missed. He didn't take anything off of me, but yeah, time to go. Unfortunately, <laughs> the ship's not moving. What happened there? Well, I was seeing if I, I could get out of there and see if the ship would move. Oh, okay. And what what happened is the two sectors that are between me and the ship are also filled with with enemies. Excellent. So I would have to come across and fight something else, and I decided I'd rather stay here and fight this one once I'd looked, because this guy had only three shield bubbles, has no boarding potential, and I figured I could, you know, just try and take him out as fast as I possibly could, and we'll go from there. So I didn't want to come across a four shield bubble ship with like a, you know, Hermes missile or something like that that would just blow me out of the water right away. Yeah, that could be rough. Yeah. So again, this last sector, very, very, very humbling. I was feeling so good, so good at the end of Sector 6. FTL is really good about that. You know, it teaches you something about highs and lows. You know, it's like, you know, it tries to psych you out. You know, you think you're doing good, you're moving strong, then you get to the last stand, and you get smacked in the face. Yeah, definitely. They're a big fan of curb stomping here, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> you think you got things under control, and the game just puts your teeth right down on it. Sorry. So yeah, now we got fires in here, but of course, as usual, our system repair drone doing work. Take another care of the tri uh, trick, guys, as well. If we we're trying to vent O2, like Goose is right there. If you actually turn your oxygen off, I don't know why you spread, why you opened up all your doors. That's actually going to cause the fire to spread, I believe. Well, that one I did that because uh, I was trying to reoxygenate the engine room as fast as possible so that I could get my my worker back in ah, there. Ah, fair enough. And get, okay. try to get my evade back. That was the idea. The, the fire in the pilot bay, I wasn't as concerned about at the moment, but uh, it ends up that I really needed to be. <laughs> yeah, he's down really low. He's starting to, to cause more fires, and it's it's just a pain, so I'm going to end up opening a lot of doors here pretty soon. Ooh. Yep, and now... You're hauled. You officially hit 50%, I believe, now. Yeah, 50% haul. Really, really not in the best of shape to be going into the final fight right now. Normally no, when you see screens risky. like this, you're, you're about to die. <laughs> yeah. This pause screen right here is one of the things you don't want to see. Ever. You got damaged crew, no one in the pilot room, damaged pilot bay. You also failed to open your um, your other doors to yeah. vent more O2. Yeah, the doors to the, uh, the south there, I guess. Yeah, I could have yeah. opened those doors and helped speed that, but I just didn't. Again, I was very flustered at this point. And Understandable. Yeah, I really wanted to get, you know, a, a solid playthrough here, and then it all just started to come come apart in this final sector, as the game does to you so many times. But that ion back cannon's together. doing some work on your shields there. Yeah, it'll do that, but happily, we finally got it down, and of course, he's got the cloak, so he's going to repair some, but what are you going to do? He's only got one blip left on his, on his hull, and then we're hoping that the last ship will move. And we won't have to go through any more fights with his cronies <laughs> before we get a crack at him. Heal up the crew here real fast, obviously. Absolutely. Can't You're cutting it close there. Yeah. I mean, it's, although at this stage I was kind of watching the crew's health like a hawk. <laughs> Trying to make sure I didn't lose anyone else after having a couple of really unfortunate incidents with them. I would be very hesitant, though. I would point out I'd be very hesitant to go into the final fight with only 50% hull. Oh, of course, yeah. I mean, it's this is not an ideal situation at all. This is a bad situation. You got 50% hull, you know, a decent amount of missiles, it's okay, but, you know, six crew don't have the full levels. You know, it's definitely a tough situation. And here I was trying to figure out if I could jump past him and make it to the repair station, but he can jump twice, you know, and we're done, is what it's saying there. It jumps until it's in range, and that would have been terrible. Which Here's is really weird. You notice how, how far away he is, and it says jumps until he's in ra within range of the base. Yeah. There's only two. You know, it, it appears that he just has to jump a certain number of times and not actually get across the map to get to the base, and it'll just say you're done. So. Yeah, you know, I, I didn't really notice that until you pointed that out. That's an interesting condition. Yeah, I always thought that he had to actually reach the base, but apparently that is not part of the condition to lose. So I figured I'd better stay here. 
Ah, oh, very smart move here. Yeah, this is critical. This is one of the main reasons you want to take a teleporter along into the final fight. Send a couple guys. It really doesn't matter who they are. and You, know, you just don't send Zoltan or Engi over there. But <laughs> you can even send humans if you need to, if that's all you've got. But send two guys into that room, exactly, right there. Because that's the triple missile launcher. It's the most dangerous piece of equipment on that ship. And they'll tear down the guy that's in there. And you notice it's totally cut off from the rest of the ship. Yep. You know, all the weapons are. So as soon as you tear it down, you bring your... Uh, Bring your guys back, heal them up, and then you can send them into one of the other rooms. The Ion is a, is a great one to, to pick next. Absolutely. You could target, you know, this, yeah, I don't know if you do it through here, but uh, you could target each of the weapons individually, then go through and kill all the crew. Yeah, this is something, that is something you can do, and I, that was part of the plan here. That's definitely what I wanted to do, because you can kill all but one of the crew members. And if you leave that crew member in one of the weapons bays, say the uh, the triple firing laser there or the beam, yeah, then that crew member can't get to any of the other systems on the ship. And also, the crew doesn't replenish between fights. You know, we got to fight this guy three times. Right. So if you kill all of them but one, then any systems that you damage won't repair because the enemy AI doesn't kick in and start self-repairing if there's a crew member alive. Ah, very. That's an excellent strategy, yeah. sir. Yeah, so you want to leave one guy alive and typically up in the weapons areas so that you don't have to deal with uh, the ship repairing itself. But unfortunately, that means you have to have enough muscle to take down the enemy crew. Yeah. And as you'll see here, we have continuing problems with that because he has a super, super med bay. You know, he could put four guys in there at once, and I'm pretty sure he's got three power bubbles in that med bay. So they just walk in and instantly heal. They're like Wolverine in there, I swear. <laughs> so watch, I like watch these guys go. I missed them. Notice that? I had two shots on the med bay, and they both missed. If either of them would have hit, I'd have killed them. But instead, they, they'll heal to full right through this cloak. They're, they're not even in the room anymore as soon as this cloak comes out. It just ticked me off. Look at yeah, me, look at me hovering on the spot, like, please let me kill them. Please. But nope, there they go. Fully powered. Ridiculous. They instantly repaired it, and then... That was it. I'll have to remember that note about leaving the one crew alive because what I like to do is target the O2 in the doors and then try to start some fires if possible and that way fires will spread and oxygen will go out and it's just bad for the crew. Yeah, yeah, you can get rid of the crew in a hurry doing that, but the one thing that's crazy about this ship is as I said, yeah, if all the crew dies then the ship has an enemy AI that'll take over and it'll continue to fight you and, and it'll start self-repairing as well. Yeah. So don't let it do that. Leave one crew alive. Let you know the ship detect its life sign there and not switch into that you know little crap mode that it goes into. And uh, it's a really, really great way to take this guy down. And this is the best time to do it too here in phase one. Yeah. Because in the next phase, they get uh, he gets really insanely strong. Yeah, the, the drone phase is just totally bananas. It's what I'm really concerned with. You'll notice, check out my missile count. 13. Sitting solid at 13, and he has two health remaining, so I am going to get through him. And I decide to try and send my crew over and start doing a little work on the, the crew. But unfortunately, I can't tear any of them down because they just leave and go to the med bay. And now it's time to destroy the ship, so... What are you gonna do? Yep. No, I think you played it smart. I mean, you still have they still have a lot of people alive and it it makes it difficult because they do have so many crew that are able to repair the systems. Yeah, and they're all excellent repairers. I of course you don't know the stats on these guys, but I'm pretty sure that this entire crew is leveled to the max. You know, yeah. in repairs and in fighting. You know, and their shield guy, whoever's designated that is is super leveled up. They might even be awesome at everything. It's quite possible. <laughs> with as many times as I've lost this fight, I would have to agree with that. Yeah, in fact, let's just assume that's the case, because otherwise I feel really bad about my personal record with FTL. <laughs> <laughs> so at this stage, uh, I decide to go ahead and send over and, and disable another weapon, uh, or kill another crew member here. Just why not? It'll make the, uh, the ability to take down the ship that much easier. Now, if you kill the weapon there, he will take hull damage and I was concerned that it would take two damage instead of just the one, so I hurried and beamed my guys out of there before I lost them. <laughs> yeah, that would that 
probably would have cost you the game, honestly. Yeah, it would have. It, it literally would have. There would be there would have been no way that I could have survived without my borders because that strategy continues to help me throughout the rest of the, the fight here. So, one blip left to get through, and stage one is finally going to be complete. He gets one last cloak in there just to tick me off. <laughs> Gets a you know gets two sh full shield bubbles back before the cloak drops too, which is just insane. Yeah, that's that's ridiculous. Yeah, it's really upsetting. But Boom, shakalaka. There it goes, and there goes his cloaking system with it. Jumps away. We get a little bit more scrap, and he's jumping up to the next sector right there. And I'm basically just gonna have to follow him. I mean, where else am I gonna go? You know, there's nothing yeah. else to do. So you you could you probably not gonna be able to make it to the repair. Yeah, the, no, there's no way. If I went for that repair station, he would definitely jump twice before I got back, and then everything is for naught. So, yep. Better to go into the fight with 50% health than have 100% health and not be able to get back to fight at all. <laughs> exactly. So, away we go. Looking good there. You upgraded your uh, cloaking and your medical yet again. Yep, and oxygen, and put the third rank into the doors as well. So,. Should be a Key. lot more uh, ability to withstand fire. But of course, this is the worst part, probably, of fighting a ship. Boarding drones. Boarding drones. Yeah, absolutely terrible. They breach whatever room they hit. Happily, it's the rear doors, you know, the rear bay there. So not as bad. But I elected to not even worry about that guy and instead just start targeting the drone system immediately. Yeah. No, I like that play. Um, because also, as you see there, guys, he has a defense drone too, which will help shoot down any missiles if you have any. Yeah, that's a nasty, nasty little drone right there that makes makes it a big problem. But happily, bombs go through anything. They go through shields. They go through defense drones. The only thing they don't punch is a, is a super shield. Yep. Yeah, the Zoltan shield. Yeah. Another plus to deactivating the drone room as well, guys, is uh, that boarding drone will cease to cause damage to your ship. Yeah, he, he won't move anymore. And also, when you have the little system repair drone, hilariously, when the breach occurs, the system repair drone goes right for it. And he'll walk right into the room with the boarding drone, and the boarding drone will take him out. But if it's offline, then the system repair drone gets to heal the breach, leave the room, and no problems. Right. So that's what we went with. Now it's time to just start trying to put the herd on the ship. We've only got seven missiles left. Ugh. Which is You're just, making me nervous. It's terrible, dude. Seriously. <laughs> only in the second. You mean you have to fight him again? Yeah. That's what sucks. Yeah. At this stage, it's just brutal. I mean, look, he's got a nice big full health bar. He's got four shields. You know, I'm sitting at under 50% health, and you got six missiles now. A oh, bunch of misses. Bunch of misses. Yeah, the the game just gets really insidious with misses <laughs> in the latter sectors, especially here. Obviously, I'm pretty sure he's rocking like a 55% evade here or something. <laughs> it's just totally bananas. So, sending the guys over again to start wreaking more havoc. I realize I'm not, I'm never going to be able to kill the entire crew the way that I'd like to with this setup. So I opted to go ahead and kill the crew member that was sitting in the. Uh, the pulse laser bay. Fair enough. If the, you had the Manus B ship and you could send over four guys, it's very plausible to just go murder the whole crew. Yeah. But with only being able to send two, one of which is not leveled up thanks to my earlier error. <laughs> then <laughs> Down I, to five missiles. Yeah. I just didn't think I could do it. And now, yeah, five bombs remain. Time to pull them out. And he's going to send over his big drone wave, and that's when you pump the uh, the cloaking. And of course, we've got a boarding drone reactivated and entered the engine area and started attacking my guy on engines, so I had to get him out of the room. I send my boarding party team in there, though, with them back on the ship to deal with that problem. And down they he goes. They did work to him. Yeah. They, I mean, the drones aren't that bad when you have some solid fighters. Certainly a pair of Mantis will take down a boarding drone in a hot second. Oh, no. Yet another one. But now we got another one. Yep. I just sent them up to heal, and now they have to go back up there and help do work. This is an instance where the pheromones would have been nice because they could have got there a little bit faster. Yeah, but... definitely, but the only reason my ship is in the shape that it's in is because of that scrap arm that I sold, you know. That's true, that's true. To have. So, got rid of the guy in there, and now, the, of course, the system repair drone in there, taking care of the breach and making sure that that's no longer an issue. 
something, uh, another pro tip here, guys. He could have quickly taken the power out of the teleporter and put two more power into the medical bay to heal his guys up that much faster and then reallocated the power. Very true. Yeah, make use of the pause button when you're, when you're looking at this. There's no reason not to. Exactly. There's, and I make plenty of use of pause just to think and you know think about where I want to position my guys and make sure that I click correctly. But uh, still, obviously, there's ways to adjust your play and to get better and better in this as you go along. Get my guy back up in there into weapons so we can get faster charges. Again, yeah. look at the ship, though. I mean, oh, four, so much health. So four much health. Shields. Full shields again. Granted, he's only got one weapon. He's got a beam weapon, which can't do anything to me. He's got his beam weapon, and he's got a pair of drones. So all I really have to worry about is the drone wave. And yeah. That, that also, honestly very rarely even punches through my shields. As you'll poked. notice. Yeah, you should have poked another point in the oxygen there. To, uh, your uh, captain there took a little damage. Yeah. But I definitely don't want to take him out of the room. He's been my captain the entire game. He's the only reason I'm sitting at 40% evade right now. Absolutely, no. That's a smart move to keep him in there. Yeah, and you see there's a boarding drone there trying to do work against my system repair drone, and he does successfully kill him. Three missiles left, too, guys. Yeah, three missiles and have to kill this ship and take down you know, the third wave with three missiles. And bear in mind, if... If I lose all those missiles, those are all gone. All I have left is my boarding team and two hull lasers. And two hull lasers don't take down four shields and damage the ship. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so, You're effectively in a deadlock. Yeah. You can just sit there stalemated forever in that situation. So really just have to keep the pressure up on the shields and make sure that he doesn't fully repair them and try to take down the ship. That's main goal right now. But a, a series of misses right now would be game over. Yep. Just totally. And realize we have a boarding drone in the room there. Unfortunately. Something interesting, too. Since you're not boarding, I would have personally elected to use auto fire. True. Yeah. Just to keep up the volleys. To make sure that it continues. Yeah. Yeah. And now, there you go. shields down. Take a couple shots on the drones again to shut him down. And then send the boys back in there to make short work of that drone when he's standing there like an oaf. <laughs> And there it goes. So we keep our three missiles. Don't get any missiles as a reward for that, notice. Which is awful. That's cruel. Yeah, I felt like that was just some seriously bend over moment right there. <laughs> but whatever. Head into final fight now. It is what it is. The amount of extra materials I have on the other two slots, the fuel and the drones is... Seriously, it's like a slap in the face. And here's where I'm considering taking the burst laser and putting it in there to give myself six shots. With only three bombs, I think that would be a tactical move. But check it out. Needs 75 power and 75 scrap to be able to upgrade the system and be able to power that burst laser. Can't and you do have it. 71. For short, folks. So oh. this heartbreaker moment right there. <laughs> I think that requires the fail horn. Yeah, <laughs> yeah thank you. Yeah, it's like that. Do, 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 do. Yeah, high prices right <laughs> stuff right there. I, oh, all right, Drew Carey. So 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 awful. But whatever. No options at this stage. It's time to go. You know, it's I was like trying to determine if I wanted to go visit that other point right there and see if maybe about picking up a couple extra missiles. Yeah. But figured, you know what? With 40% health, I better just go after it. Yep. So he starts with the Zoltan shield up. You just have to power through and tear that thing down. Oh, I love that he boards you. He yeah. has a death wish. He sends two of his crew over to us, which is the absolute best scenario that we could have hoped for. Because he sends them over, and he's going to fire his, his triple missile. And when he does, we get to cloak, and he can't board his guys, take his guys back while I'm cloaked. Yep. So we instantly get to knock out two more crew members, and now he only has two left, if you notice. So... Yeah, yeah, no, that was a very bad move. Yeah, he's in poor, poor shape. Ooh, that hurt. Yeah, so, yeah, that's the problem. When that missile launcher's up, you have to use your cloak to dodge that, but then you can't dodge the super weapon. Oh, I sent another crew so, yeah, member Yeah, he over. sent wow. his last guy besides his pilot over to me. So now it's not nearly as bad as far as guys running around repairing systems. If that pilot yeah. leaves the room, 
then I'll have free reign on whatever. But I'm having a hard time hitting the ship right now due to that pilot. And, of course, he's taken down my weapon system, so I only have one of my hull lasers at the moment. Oh, no. Unlucky hit there. Yeah. Really, really unlucky. I was at, if you look, I was at, what is it, 85, 95% evade there? Yeah. <laughs> and he still managed to score a hit. Ridiculous. Yeah, here again, guys, is where I would use auto fire just to wear down on that shield because he has a Zoltan shield up, which means you're not getting through anything. Yeah. And you can't board your crew. Right. I can't send the boarders, and uh, I can't send. I can't even get a bomb through that. I mean, it's just going to nope. impact on the side. So you've got to tear that down. And look, here he is. I'm at 25% health. Oh, oh my gosh. Absolutely awful. Another hit there. Five bubbles remain, and he still has his full bar. This is just crazy, 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 crazy. I was nail biting big time at this point. <laughs> yeah, this this is this is some bad news bears. Yeah, I was so so happy. I was thinking back all the mistakes that I'd made during this playthrough. Uh, to just point out another this. one, by the way, you should have taken one out of your engine and put one more into your cloak to make that last longer. That's true. Yeah, you have stealth weapons, so you don't have to worry about. Yeah, that is something else we could have done there, but. If I take it out, take him out of the engine, then that's even less evade. So it's kind of a catch-22. You just choose which one you want. But I didn't. I can't say that I thought about that. Notice what he did right here too. Instead of firing his super weapon, he elected to put up another Zoltan shield. Yep. That is an option that he has, and he went for it, and that's an awful scenario. But luckily, but okay. I, yeah. <laughs> luckily, I gotten my guys in there to take out that triple launcher before he put that up. So hilariously, I can't get them back now though until the shield is gone. <laughs> yeah, and they can't go wreak any more havoc. No. <laughs> and I'd love to be able to send them to do just that, but I can at the moment. There you go. Broke through it. Yep. So now we can actually start trying to pelt away at the ship. Still got our three small bombs. Worried about that super weapon, but happily it doesn't hit us. We're in good shape. Miss there. So critical. <laughs> We need that. Occasionally, you know, we hate misses when we're firing, but we love misses when they're firing. Little luck goes a long way. You got it, man. I needed it on this, for sure. And notice the frequency is increasing with which that he's uh, firing that super weapon or pulling up another shield. Yeah. You get a nice hit in after using a bomb to clear away some of the shields. Now he's only got two bubbles. It's time to start pelting in on the shields. Let's see if we can tear him down the rest of the way. There you go. And all everything's going to hit now, too, since he's out of the pilot room. This is a really good scenario here, too. I'm getting down to the nitty-gritty of it. Can't come soon enough, because I think you probably only have a quarter shield left and only one missile. Yeah, I just spent another missile after that volley of uh, lasers missed. I wanted to make sure he didn't get a third bubble back. And look, glad I did it, because he puts up another Zoltan shield. <laughs> All he has to do to win at this point is keep his defenses alive long enough that I have to exhaust my bombs. Yep, which and is one. <laughs> yeah, which is one, right. He puts up one heck of an effort here. That was You're getting some amazing misses. Yeah, some really, really fortunate misses. You know, my cloak is alive here. I'm waiting for him to fire. And now I've killed the ship, or killed the uh, last crew member. Had no choice. So he does get a little bit of auto evade now, unfortunately. But it's not going to be enough. He's not going to be able to repair that quickly anymore. So this is a pretty decent situation. I was actually starting to feel a little more confident now. Yeah, because you can send your Mantis over there. They're going to make quick work of that interior of the hull. Exactly. That's the idea. I want to get him into that pilot bay so all my shots count. Now it's a race because he can keep firing that super weapon and his triple laser there. See if he can get through my shields and cause enough damage to destroy me before I can cause enough damage on him. Look at that miss by oh, me, though. <laughs> yeah, that was incredible. That could have been game over, guys. Yeah, it really could have. I mean, he's firing like eight shots there. It's just disgusting. Now with the pilot room down, I'm feeling pretty strong. Notice he did start to repair that. <laughs> yeah, that triple missile launcher. Yeah, but happily all four shots hit the mark right there, and now he's in a world of hurt. And, yep, that's the match, folks. Bam. What a stressful time. <laughs> Again, time to crack open a beer after that, seriously. But the Flaming Amen. Goose stands victorious.
Excellent. We should add a little thing in there for, you know, in memory of Borat. Yeah, it should. Yeah, actually, we'll, we'll put something in there for him. Nice little tombstone for him. We miss him. And whoever the other guy was that died. Because <laughs> <laughs> I forget who he was. I think it might, might have been Vincent, actually. Bummer. Uh, it was Vincent, the butler. No doubt. But anyway, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed the playthrough. Thanks for watching. Uh, there's a link here. You can check out the entire series in case you missed any of it by clicking there. Obviously, uh, click on that subscribe button if you like what you see so far. And definitely keep an eye out here this weekend. Lots of SimCity beta coming. We're so excited. It's going to be a blast. So, Oh, yeah. Good times. We'll see you then, guys. Take it easy.